esophagus and stomach works. In this video. Esophagus. Once food is chewed, lubricated, and partially digested in your mouth, it becomes a bolus. To enter the esophagus, the bolus must pass the upper esophageal sphincter, which is a valve that is closed when no bolus is present. The bolus travels down to the esophagus, by a contraction wave, to the valve at your stomach entrance, called, lower esophageal sphincter, lay. This kind of wave is called, peristalsis. It takes 9 seconds for a bolus, to travel down your esophagus. If the bolus is liquid, it takes only 1 second. As food reaches your lower esophageal sphincter, the valve opens, to let food into your stomach. The closing valve pressure of the lay, is higher than the pressure inside your stomach. This condition does not let the bolus content, and acid combination to flow back up your esophagus. It also prevents hiatus hernia from occurring. If for some reason, this valve opens, and lets in digesting food, stomach acid, or parts of the stomach lining back into the esophagus, a burning sensation will be felt. This condition, is referred to as, acid reflux, heartburn, or GED, gastroesophageal disease. In the case, where parts of the stomach move into the esophagus, this is called, hiatus hernia. Food Digestion The digestion of your food, starts, when you are preparing your food. Cutting, dicing, mixing, pounding, or cooking, break down your food into small pieces, so, you can chew and digest it easily. Once you have saliva in your mouth, which contains, mucus, carbohydrate enzymes, fat enzymes, and bacteria, start breaking down your food further. Once you have chewed your food enough, it moves down your esophagus, within seconds, by quickly passing the upper and lower esophageal sphincter. The lower esophageal sphincter must remain closed, after your food moves into your stomach. If it does not, then, you have a condition called, acid reflux, that can eventually lead to a hiatus hernia. How your stomach works. To avoid having hiatus hernia, or to stop hiatus hernia, you need to strengthen your lay value. To do this, you need to know how your stomach works, and the things you need to avoid, so that, you don't interfere with the good function of your stomach. Your stomach, was made to be an acid chamber, so, you need to keep it working as an acid chamber. As an acid chamber, it was designed to keep its pH 1.5 or less, and less is better. When your stomach's pH moves above 3.0, your stomach automatically produces more acid, to bring your pH down, below 3.0. How does it move above a pH of 3.0? One way this occurs is, when you take an acid reducer, acid blocker, or drugstore Tums, or any other drugstore product designed, to stop acid reflux or stomach pain. Your stomach is happy and working like it should, when its pH is 3.0 or less, because, it can do its job, such as, break protein into its individual amino acids, Prepare vitamins and minerals to be absorbed in the intestines, such as, vitamin B12, iron, calcium, magnesium, zinc, copper, and most B vitamins. Destroy incoming bacteria and pathogens. Reduce chances of coming down with stomach cancer. Keep stomach content acidic, so when it goes into the duodenum, it triggers pancreas digestive juices. Reduce chances of having allergies, skin disease, asthma, depression, lupus, Graves' disease, osteoporosis, accelerated aging, and other conditions. Strengthens the lay value, so that, the value remains strong, and does not allow food or part of the stomach to push through and into the esophagus. Using any type of drugstore remedies, to get gas, pain, or acid reflux relief, will weaken your stomach and lay valve. In the following chapters, you will find the natural ways to follow, to maintain good levels of stomach acid. Good stomach acid is necessary for you, to overcome hiatus hernia. Strong stomach acid, is needed to influence, and improve the absorption of nutrients, that will give you better health. Surgery In some cases, surgery may be required to correct hiatus hernia. Your doctor will be able to advise you in this area. When you have hiatus hernia, 
you may have to do a combination of drugs and a natural diet. You will get the information you need here, to follow a natural way, to strengthen your digestive organs, and to get back the health you once had. Final Thoughts Let's go on to the next video.